Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and in this video, I'm going to show you three easy ways that you can download the full installer of macOS Sonoma so you can create a USB flash drive or install on a second partition or drive. Let's jump in and get started. First of all, what is the full installer and what is it used for? Well, the full installer is used to reinstall macOS on your Intel or your M1 Mac. You can use it to be able to create a USB installer drive, or you can use it to install to a second volume or partition if you're using it to test. Now let's show you how to download the full installer. One of the easiest ways to download the full installer is to use my website because I include direct links to Apple software update servers to pull the full installer installation package. So I have Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, and Big Sur. Now when you look at what that is, it's called the installassistant.pkg. Inside that package, which is usually around 10 to 12 gigabytes in size, is the full installer app for macOS Sonoma. So to download it, all you need to do is click on this link right here and it downloads directly to your drive. Now, if you're curious what this link is, you can see right here below my clicker that is to swcdn at apple.com, directly to Apple. Never download a installer from a torrent or any other site that you don't know is coming directly from apple.com. So click on this and it'll download right to your downloads folder. Once it's done downloading, this is what it's gonna look like in your downloads folder, installassistant.pkg. All you need to do now is double click on it and run the installer. Click on continue, continue, and install. Then click close, and now we can go to our applications folder and take a look at the new full installer app. And here it is. Now, depending on whether you're installing a beta USB installer for macOS 14 or a regular full final installer when it's available for macOS Sonoma, it doesn't matter. Now that they're in applications, they're ready to use to create a USB installer or install on a secondary hard drive. Now let's jump into the second way to do it. Now the second way to do it is to use Apple's own binary for software update called Fetch Full Installer. So we opened up the terminal application that is located in the Applications folder, Utilities folder, and then it's called Terminal App. Once it's open, we can use the software update binary to see all the commands available. So we'll type in software update and hit enter. And what we can see here is all of the different commands that we can run for software update. And we're looking for one particular one and it is called fetch full installer. But what we're going to do first is we're going to list all the full installers available. So we'll scroll down here and we'll hit the up arrow to get our last command. And then we will paste in our list full installers Paste, and then paste list full installers and then hit enter. Now it's gonna contact the catalog and here's all of the versions of macOS that is compatible with this 2020 MacBook Air M1. Now that's what's important. It'll only show you what's available for your Mac. So if you're using a Mac like a 2017 Mac that's not compatible with macOS Sonoma, it's not going to show you in the list. Now what you see available in this list will all have to do with whether you're a enrolled in the macOS beta or not. You can see here that there's standard versions and if you want a beta version it'll be listed as beta here on the side like this one is right here macOS 14 beta. But that is something that you'll have to be a part of with your Apple ID for macOS 13.4 and newer. So if you're running macOS Ventura you're going to need to log into the Apple ID section with an Apple ID that is part of either the developer beta, the public beta, or Apple Seed for IT. This is what the software update pane looks like when you are on 13.4 Ventura or newer. You're going to make sure that this has to be showing beta updates for a developer beta, public beta, or Apple Seed beta to be able to download beta updates and to be able to download full installers via fetch full installers. Now, if you don't need the beta, then you don't have to worry about any of this stuff because it'll automatically show, but that's just something that you need to be aware of. Now, if you're on 13.3 or lower, like on Monterey, Big Sur, and older version of macOS Ventura, you can still use the beta utility to be able to enroll in beta and you can also use seed util to be able to put yourself into the beta to be able to get the latest version. Now that we have the version of the full installer that we have in the list, all we need to do is use the software update binary to download it. So all we need to do is type in software update again and they want to fetch full installers, fetch full installer and then space dash dash full dash installer dash version and then space and we want to be able to download 14.0 and then hit enter and what it's going to do is it's going to scan the same list that it just pulled and make sure it's that it's available and if it finds it it'll immediately start to download so let's give it a second here 
and there it goes. It's now downloading. To verify which your one you're downloading, you can actually go to your activity monitor and then you can click on the network pane and you can see that, oh, look, we're downloading directly from Apple servers right here and we're pulling about 11 to 12 megabytes a second, which is pretty good. Now, what we can also do is check the var log install log and we can actually see we're pulling that same install assistant.pkg that I told you about earlier that I linked to my website. If you wanted to follow the Apple official way, this is how to do it. Now we'll let this download here and then when it's done, we'll come back. Okay, just finished downloading. We can see here install finished successfully, even though it says it installed it means that it did the same thing we did earlier with the install assistant. It, it downloaded it and then took it from the package and installed it right into your applications folder. We'll go in there and take a look at that now. And here it is, install macOS beta or install macOS Sonoma when the final version is available and you have your two full installers, whether, whether you downloaded beta or you downloaded the full final installer. And finally, the third way to download macOS Sonoma is using the Mac App Store. And I'll put a link here to my download macOS Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, and Big Sur. These are links directly to the Mac App Store to be able to download the full installer. So for example, if you click on this one for Ventura here, it'll open up a link. And as soon as you click on view in the Mac App Store, it'll show you a direct download link. When you click on that, it'll open up system settings and it'll show you the link to download the full installer.